the Upper East Side and uh, start to disperse an estate. Uh, the way we usually do that, there's different uh, little levels when we do what we call our triage. So the first level is, is the family keeping anything. The rest of the stuff uh, we're gonna clean out to get the apartment prepared for sale. And uh, the rest of the stuff's gonna be broken down into things that we're gonna be able to sell at our auction. And then of course, there's two different levels to that. The higher end things will, will go into a higher end auction and the lower end things will be going, going into our uncurated sale as opposed to a higher end curated sale. And then there's a donation which is anything that we can't monetize for the client, but somebody can still use. So we'll pack all that stuff up. And then there's obviously, you know, the rubbish, which uh, all the balance of the stuff that we're not gonna be able to donate. The first thing we'll do when we get there is we'll do a walkthrough. You have to understand every day is like a treasure hunt to us. So when we go in, whether we're buying something out or working for a client, we get just as excited, if not more for the client, when we find something uh, really cool. Because most of the time, you know, people think stuff is valuable that isn't valuable. And then the even more exciting part of it is we, when we bring this stuff in, there's always something that pops that we don't know is gonna pop. So we'll, we'll bring it in and people will be, you know, going through it and, you know, like Lauren or head cataloger will be like, oh, by the way, I looked this up and we thought it was a few hundred dollars, it's actually a few thousand dollars. So it's all about the constant discovery about of an object and then we wait, once that object sells, if it does really well, it's always great to see the client's you know, reaction. We get to do what everybody wishes they can do. We get to go through other people's stuff. We just walked into an estate that we're gonna be dispersing. Uh, usually what we'll do in the beginning is have a walkthrough, I call it the visit uh, with the client. Uh, we've already done that, but uh, I'm just gonna to point to some things that we look through when we're, when we're going through stuff. And there's already some stuff that we tagged for the client. So it's our job to, to figure out what's going to the client, get it to them. What is a value here so we can sell it and monetize it for the client. And then uh, what is not a value, but we can, we can donate uh, and then the last thing is going to be the rubbish. This uh, I like to call dungeon furniture. It's uh, it's it could be uh, you know, it's it's um, Jacobean. You could call it. Uh, we can also call this Gothic revival. Uh, this is a um, a piece of hall furniture that would have a little thing here that you you know put shoes and whatnot in. Something like this. Typically, since it's such dark wood and and like like a dungeon, it's not gonna you know sell for that much because it really it's it's not period. Uh, you know, this is not 16th century furniture, uh, more likely early 20th century uh, uh, furniture in the style of. So, you know, something like this, if we get a, a few hundred dollars for it, we're, we're gonna be happy. This is called parquetry. When everything is cut inside, when it's designed, if it's actual figures, it's called marquetry. So that, that's pretty cool, the different types of wood there. Uh, Hey, that would be great if that was really a Martha Ro Mark Rothko back there for $80 million, but I, I assure you it is not. And look at it, it's in Manhattan. Okay. Okay, so before we said parquetry, this table has marquetry, which is actually, instead of just geometric shapes, we have urns. Here with some foliate leaves coming out. 